Hello guys uh, and today I'm going to talk about the MTech online classes uh, in IIT, IITs and especially IIT Delhi. So most of you might be wondering that how the classes are conducted, how quizzes, assignments and various TA, TA that is teaching assistantship, all these are conducted and uh, what is the experience of the classes uh, and on which platform they are conducted how to manage things here what are the difficulties and especially the attendance criteria because a lot of people think that attendance is is an issue so i'm going to discuss all of this as well as many more things in this video okay so uh, before that i would i would just tell you that uh, uh, you can just also watch the previous video where i discussed about the iit initial days and that is very crucial uh, because uh, in that video i told about how uh, during the initial days you need to just gear up and because uh, getting into an IIT and after all those classes starts it's kind of a roller coaster so many things happen and to be on the right track and the be just uh, aware of various things so you can just watch that video as well and subscribe the channel it's just one click okay so in in this topic that I'm going to talk that about the mtech online classes at IIT and especially IIT Delhi so first of all let me just tell about the platforms there are basically three platforms well mostly two but first platform is Moodle so Moodle M -O, o D L E Moodle is a platform where the professors put in their all their uh, lectures as well as the uh, assignments quizzes all of this stuff is on Moodle and uh, that is especially in IIT Delhi and also in some I other IITs next there is imparters imparters and Microsoft Teams okay so there are two uh, basically two uh, platforms where videos uh, the classes are held that is imparters and or uh, Microsoft Teams depending on the professors some some feel that imparters is uh, better uh, because it just records its or uh, record the class automatically so uh, both are also available in mobile app uh, the Moodle imparters and also the MS Teams and in MS Teams uh, the classes go on and you uh, the teacher need to read the professor needs to record the class so now coming to the point uh, uh, after because these classes are recorded so you can actually watch them later on but in imparters uh, uh, there is a watch time also counted so coming to the attendance thing the attendance is here like that if you if you have attended and uh, watch the video the recorded videos uh, let's say then the watch time will be recorded on imparters that is for imparters only and in ms teams it's just anyone can just attend uh, it's it, it is not uh, taking into account of that watch time issue so uh, you can it's better to just uh, attend the class uh, in in the class time itself rather than uh, if in various emergencies only then uh, watch the class uh, later the video, video recorded videos because uh, during the class uh, if you just don't ask the doubts then the class uh, might just go above your head whatever the professor is teaching and sometimes it happens that uh, the pe the teacher just uh, reads the slides so reads the ppt uh, and in a way that uh, you, there is no pause in between because let's say if, uh, if someone just teaches continuously for one hour and speaking 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 and without any pause then 
that would just uh, not get into your mind uh, if you have haven't any have not any idea of that topic before so you need to just ask your doubts and and just uh, ask your doubts without any hesitant hesitant uh, without being any hesitant or reluctant because if you don't ask the doubt the teacher will just finish up the course so fast and so quick and i uh, guarantee you that that you won't get any of it now uh, let's just talk about uh, the assignments because that is quite a crucial part so in uh, mtech uh, you get to choose various electives uh, and depending on your interest and what you want to specialize in you can choose your electives in that way and therefore uh, 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 there are some uh, uh, people who will who you will actually uh, get close to and some just only in the compulsory classes because some uh, courses are compulsory whereas some are electives so maybe someone is just with you in one course but not maybe in in a different subject so uh, when the assignments come normally uh, what people think is that taking help of your friends but here if your friend is not doing the same course then definitely you cannot take help and assignments are uh, really like open book so uh, peer teachers just try to make them out of the box like not just from the what they taught in the class so that will take a little more effort but don't worry because uh, here everyone is just uh associated with each other so people can give you hints if you ask the professor even he can actually help you and give a lot him uh, a lot more hints so so uh, something there is no need to panic in that uh, but the main thing is that every professor here will just give you assignments and assignments and assignments and there will be quizzes so you need to really manage so one way to manage all this stuff is that the deadline of that assignment that is near that is upcoming try to finish that that's the best way rather than just finishing off everything at once try to finish the first one that is that's deadline is very near next thing is uh, and also the people here will help you the friends and make friends and communicate connect with people that would really help you now the quiz so quiz is held on moodle and there are uh, approximately one or two quizzes uh, and you need to perform really well Be why i'm saying this because quiz uh, has also 10 percentage of marks which and even sometimes 20 so that is a lot more marks so the in the grading what i'm going to say is that uh, the minor is like around 30 percent uh, majors are like 40 percent around and rest the whole thing is just divided into uh, minors is sometime also 20 percent so rest uh, 30 to 40 percent is assignments and quizzes and could could be projects as well if if there is any in the course so all of this uh, that you need to just take care that it's not only the minor and the major you need to just also uh, give the quiz and assignments as well now the quiz is held on moodle and frankly speaking you might wondering be wondering that uh, can we cheat <laughs> well uh, doing the quiz uh, in ms teams uh, microsoft teams uh, sometimes some professor tell you that uh, to switch on the camera and uh, in that case cheating is kind of difficult <laughs> but yes I don't really uh, say that uh, that it depends on person to person so <laughs> no no comments on that <laughs> anyways uh, the quizzes are uh, very much uh, made in a manner that 
will help you to understand if you haven't read uh, then you will might face difficulty because quizzes are really good uh, up to a good level of quiz and and if you just aren't able to solve then you get to know the things that you uh, don't know so that is the thing and now let's move on to the ta the teaching assistantship and stuff so where which is why you are going to be paid the stipend so in online mode uh, the tas mostly mostly do is that they check the files they uh, give the grades and uh, in the lab so the lab is mostly now online so uh, whatever the file they submit the students the btech students you just need to check them and give grades and even uh, in some cases uh, some ta has to do nothing but just attend the lab uh, the online in ms teams so just attend that uh, know what is uh, different experiments are allotted to different ta's and if you are in phd then maybe you are a ta of the faculty or in you are if you are in mtech second year then you might have to do a more but for the first year mtech the ta work is less in online mode and it's just that you need to just maybe uh, just look at the experiment uh, attend the lab and if the professor wants something from you he will surely tell you okay guys so the last thing is that is uh, is is this whole online experience good or should uh, offline might be better because but i will tell you that uh, from my experience that mtech is only better if you just do it in your lab and lab is quite important so wish that one day uh, this covid pandemic will be over and people will start visiting lab because there is actually what you gather uh, nothing can be more useful than that also various teachers tell you about read this journal that journal so you need to read a lot of journals because but uh, journals are uh, like 7 pages to 14 pages or even more so yes if everyone says that read uh, the journals then you need to just break them into parts like if you are going to read one or two pages today then maybe uh, decide what you are going to read and because there is so much reading that is expected from you so read 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 and just read so i hope this will help you to give an idea how the online classes are conducted in mtech and in iit uh, iit is indian institute of technology that you know so i hope this video just helped you and for this typhoon uh, it will come after three months okay thank you guys